Hey YouTube, it's Tempest again. Um, this is another video, part two of my Royal Paladin strategy kind of deck thing. Um, as you know, I have two different Royal Paladin decks. One of them, I was I, I mean, initially I was trying to find a way to combine um, Alfred Palmies and Soul Saver um, in a way that would make it you know kind of synergize. Um, and I was I failed at it. Recent, you know, it was a long time ago, back when Set Three first came out. I failed at it. So what I did was I built two different decks. The one for the Alfred beat and one for um, a deck that focuses solely on Soul Saver and the Galahad Ride Chain. So um, this deck is very good. It's my Galahad deck. Um, the way it plays is very consistent. I like getting the pluses off the Ride Chain if I can. Um, this will also be a tutorial on how the rank 2 Ride Chain works um, and strategies you can use to perfect it. Um, stuff I'll be doing at, uh, on um, yeah, Sun Friday. What am I thinking? Huh? Sunday, Friday. Um, Another thing with this deck is um, if I find that I'm coming up against uh, Zergonic Overlord the End or Phantom Blaster Overlord decks, I will probably be trying to play this deck instead of my Palamedes deck because this deck has a much easier time with that deck. Um, that's not true. <laughs> um, up against Overlord the End, both of my Royal Paladin decks have a hard time, but this, but this one has a better time against it because it has the actual Soul Saver final turn play built into it, whereas the other deck doesn't. So. Um, all right, I'm gonna get to it. Um, starting with Drangle, obviously you're playing Galahad, um, and this deck, um, the main focus of it is to make sure that you have enough cards in your soul to use Soul Saber Dragon. Um, so you, the Galahad Ride Chain guarantees that you have three in your soul or five in your soul, I guess, kind of Vanguard when you use uh, and the uh, Drangle to complete it. So um, very, very good uh, for triggers for Outbaster Owl for Sharon. To Flogel and to Marvel, and then for Elaine. Um, like in my other deck, um, I switched over to some, to some sand triggers by a friend's suggestion. Um, using Alabaster Owl because it's a high beast, that gives me an emergency play if for some reason I want to use a Kane. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then same reason for Flogel, it's a high beast, it's better than Pixies. Um, now for uh, the two Marvels. They are basically in here for their effect, not for their actual triggering. Um, I would like to run six crit, but the fact is, Markle is a high beast that can be put into your soul. So if you're missing the fifth card for your soul for Soul Saver's ability, and you have an Akane in your hand, you can counter bust too. Search for Markle and put it into your soul. I mean, obviously Pongle is a better choice because he goes into your soul as well. But if for some reason you don't have enough counter blocks to use Pongle, you can get Markle instead. And then of course for Sharon, Sharon has the same effect as Markle. Put her into your soul, give the guy three thousand power, but you know, only a 5k shield and can be superior call from the deck, but she is a 10k shield, so I like to hold on to her unless I absolutely need to. Um, and then that's standard, so yeah. Um, yeah. Crits I don't usually seem to use a lot. Stands are actually a lot more helpful, I found that because um, of Soul Saver's thing, he does the Holy Charging Roar, um, being able to stand your 5k boosted rear guards is very good um, when you do it, so yeah, I like the stand triggers in this deck a lot more than crits. For grade ones, you have the four Galahad, very standard because you're playing the Galahad ride chain. Um, three Marin only, and then three Pongle. Um, I'll get back to him. And then four Akane. Yeah. Pongle is a great 7k booster. That's about it. Um, grade twos, four the grade two Galahad, pretty simple. Four Galatine, um, 10k vanilla, helpful, very um, consistent. And three Akane. So Akane helps you get whatever you need for this deck. Kind of to get your Pongo, get your Margo, get usually whatever. You usually get Pongo with her because she's a 7k booster. Um, and I only have Pongo at 3 in this deck. Actually, I do have him at 3. Not only 3. Normally, you don't see him at like 2. But I have him at 3 in this deck um, because my grade 3 lineup, um, I'll show you right now. My grade 3s consist of 3 Galahad, 2 Lohengrin, and then 3 Soul Saver. So my friend Judah is letting me a slow saver for the weekend. Um, this deck is incredibly fun. Um, now you're kind of thinking, well, like, if you're running three soul saver, why are you running three pongles? You know, and it's because pongle allows me to thin the deck. If I get my ride chain off, I, I get a plus one from that, so I don't have to ride or minus myself off the ride. Um, so I usually have a lot of extra cards to to, um, to guard with, including a pongle I can usually call a counter blast and add to soul search for soul saver. That thins up my deck of grade threes um, and allows me to set up for using a double soul saver play potentially. 
Um, that's very good. If for some reason I don't, um, I complete the ride chain or even get one plus off that, I usually need to call Pongo as a booster. So I will not usually use this effect to search for Soul Saver. I'll probably just wait to go into it. Okay, so this deck isn't an insta ride Soul Saver deck in any way, shape, or form. You really don't want to insta ride it. Um, um, let me give you a basic potential opening hands. Um, I'll do these two. And this. Okay, so your opening hand looks like this, right? Um, in theory, you could shuffle back the uh, Soul Saver Dragon. I like to hold on to him because um, he's good to have a grade three. For some reason, I missed the ride chain. Um, but what would you shuffle back? You definitely shuffle shuffling back these two triggers, right? Obviously. You already have a Grey One Mary in your hand. So what you want to do is you want to shuffle your Galahad back into your deck. Because that means that you are you have a better chance of pulling him off of Drangle's skill. Um, I, th I feel like even though you want to have him to ride from your hand, it's better to shuffle him back into your deck because that increases the odds of you getting the plus off of Drangle's ability. So even though it would be a better ride turn one to ride him from your hand so you can search for the grade two next turn, um, Marin is probably the better ride in my opinion because it would put him back in your deck and a better choice of riding him. And if you ride Marin, you know, you're just setting yourself up. It's it's really not that big a deal. I feel like this is, and this is how Sukiyomi players tend to play too. You know, they, they, ride, they put this back in your, their deck if they can so they can get the plus off of it. Um, yeah, very useful. Um, normally your Turn three ride will be, um, you'd think with three soul saver it would be soul saver. Um, and sometimes it is. If you have to ride soul saver without using a soul blast though, it's actually quite good because he's still gains, he's still a 13k attacker when he attacks a vanguard. So definitely not a bad turn three ride if you can't use a soul blast. Um, Lowering Green's probably the best ride, um, turn three, uh, because he soul charges every turn, he's a 12k attacker. However, the three Galahads in this here are very good. If you manage to complete the ride chain, um, turn through with his ability, you can like put a Margolis or a Pongo into your soul and instantly have six for his effect, which is counter boss two and giving three K power and a critical on the turn. So this makes him a very good pressure for turn three if you can ride him and make him eleven K. Um makes him very hard to guard. Um I'm a fan of using his ability, but you have to use it sporadically, like you have to know when to use it, because you really want to save your counter boss for a conda if you can. Um yeah. It's very good, very useful um, on Vanguard or Rearguard because you usually have all the stuff in the in the soul if you complete the ride chain. Um, uh, why do I feel like I'm missing something? I guess I went over it all. Um, yeah, this deck is pretty strong. There's no Poogle, Touch Poogles, there's no um, Palamedes in here. Um, basically, I tried to make a list that I thought would work. Um, um, it had 15 grade 1s. 10 grade 2s and 9, 8, not 9, 8 grade 3s. Um, so I had a lot of good boosters, um, but um, I just felt like with that deck, um, you odds of you getting the Galahad ride chain off were very slim because I only had one grade 3 Galahad. Um, but, you know, so, so um, basically my grade 3 lineup for that deck was, um, and this is when I tried to combine them together. So I had one Galahad, two Soul Saver, two Alfred, two Palamedes, and one Boris. Um, so you know, three 13k rear guards, the Soul Saver final turn, the two Alfreds for Vanguards, and the Galahad. So you know, but I was usually drawn to Palamedes without having another Grade Three in play, so that screwed him up. And then I would usually, you know, you know not be able to activate Soul Saver this because I never had enough in the Soul. So um, while I think that deck can be potentially viable given the amount of skill of certain players. Um, I don't like it, especially considering that I have to play this deck for a tournament this Friday. So um, I'm getting the Soul Savers until the end of this weekend. So I think I might try to run this deck at my uh, locals. Uh, it's very good. It can get Soul Saver off twice per game. If you have enough card advantage, you can definitely do it. Um, and if you can manage to get it off twice per game, it's very devastating. Um, oh, I remember what I was going to say before. Uh, insta riding Soul Saver. Never insta ride Soul Saver. Um, even if you have five in your soul, that that's not uh, a, a reason to insta ride it. You really have to wait, and that's why it's very important to have this card and this card in particular on your Vanguard circle. Um, 11k defender and then 12k attacker. If you have Mirror behind it, 20k column, very good. 
Um, any soul charges once every turn. So even if you can stall using him and then ride soul saver, then ride soul saver again, pretty good. Um, Galahad's, you know, again defense, very good defense. Um, and then Mullingram attacking. I I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm fucking blanking out here. But yeah, soul saver is is the final turn play in this deck. But unlike my other deck, this deck guarantees that you'll get it all, if not once, twice. Um, so yeah. He's even a good turn, you know, three ride if you don't have anything else. Because again, 13k Vanguard attacker. But I like Lohengrim better because of his soul charging. And again, I ran him at three in this deck because you can do um, the play. You can ride him if you need to, and you still have one for final turn in case one gets damage checked. Or if one gets damage checked, you still have two to do multiple final turns with. So I like him at three. He's very consistent, and you can draw on him faster. That means you can save your pawn goals for boosting. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry the video ran so long. Um, and um, yeah, be sure to post a tournament report you know, Friday or Saturday when I get a chance. Um, thanks for watching.